game number one here of a best of three. I'm really excited about it. Already into these best of three rounds and that's where I love it. As a caster, best of three is really where the fun lies because you can't just get a quick series that's done to a cheese. You can't get someone doing something sneaky to get a quick win. But yeah, best of threes, that's where it gets more exciting. That's where you can sit there and be like, strategy, planning, overall good mechanics, good decision making, that will generally lead to the winner in most situations. Unless you're Fusa and you're just two racks every game. Anyway, enough about that. More about these two players. Spawning up to the top right, we've got the Red Zerg player representing Acer. We've got Ply. And his opponent to the lower left representing CSC. Zeth. As the Blue Protoss. Thank you all for tuning in this evening. This, of course, is Go for SC2. Um, and yeah, it's always a fun evening. Every Monday night, if you're watching on YouTube, every single Monday evening, 1900 Central European Summertime. I'll be casting on twitch.tv forward slash maddles. So if you don't watch live, you could do, and that'd be awesome fun for you. Just chilling, watching this Overlord make progress across the map at the moment. Look at him go. I like the little like tentacle things out their ears. I think those are ears anyway. Just kind of makes them look like they're very... Makes them look like farmers. Just like sitting there with tufts of hair coming out. It's like, ah, oh, here we go. Don't know where that came from. My brain is clearly being a bit funny this evening. In terms of openings, we've got a Nexus first out of Zeth. He's playing bold. Meanwhile, Bly... He was going hatch first into a spawning pool. Was that a hatch first? Yeah, it was. Okay, so both playing incredibly economically focused. Both being very greedy, wanting to get into a good position in terms of their income, in terms of their production. We'll wait to see how that plays out. Overgrowth is a map, pretty cool map for the most part, actually. Uh, we've got, obviously, a third base that's relatively easy to take for a Zerg player. Uh, their biggest problem generally comes from force field blocks across here. It can be really irritating. So good ways to defend that is just make sure you've got some units ready to flank if possible, although that's not always easy. Meanwhile for Protoss, a lot of Protoss players are big fans of a fast third on overgrowth. It just works really well for them. Talking of no speedling all in please, is this a bit of psychic stuff coming out of Zeth? What has he seen? Okay, so he knows that speed was on its way. It could very well be a speedling all in because this is this is just crazy right now. Bly, Bly knows all. Bly knows that this gateway was really late and he knows that it was a Nexus first. So he's just like, ah, ah, okay. I will just I will just run in with my speedlings and I will kill your things. Two zealots already out. They're just chilling here, but they know they know bad things are gonna happen already. Speed is not yet done. That's only just past halfway, but there's already a fair few Zerglings. This is a problem for Zeth. Bly, getting on the aggressive. Going to be picking away at a couple of these probes, trying to fight them. Doesn't want to lose the Zerglings though. Critical mass is important. Ideally, this Nexus, he wants it dead. Dead and gone, that's the key. And by keeping a couple of these Lings up, if the Zerglings and the Mothership Corps go to defend that, that means probes will die. They will die a horrible death. That gateway, is it going to get cancelled? Yep, it does. So the natural next is taking more damage. Great multitasking at the moment. Still, in it comes. Good damage being done here. One probe gets taken down. The natural not being focused. Just tons of speedlings at the moment. The zealots, they're being focused. They're backed up against the nexus. Trying to maximize the amount of damage they can do against these zerglings. And they're doing an okay job for now. The probe count hasn't been completely destroyed yet. But there's more speedlings coming. The Zealot count setting at 3. The Mothership Core rapidly approaching that 100 energy required to focus an overcharge. But will it be there in time? The Zealots falling quickly. Only 2 now remain. 1 remains. And GG, 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 GG. Down goes Zeth and Blight. Takes game number 1 of this best of 3.